Hi guys, so today's video is a bit of a different video. I'm going to be posting my cloth nappy wash routine. If you don't know, obviously I cloth nappy. Um, the past week she has been in it full time, but before that we were only doing cloth during the day and then disposables at night. But because she got a rash, I started using them all the time. So we do have a lot more nappies than we usually do. And I'll show you where I'm storing them at the moment. At the moment, I have this wet bag and then another one there. I just keep these on the back of my door right next to the changing mat. So it's so easy just to take the nappy off and put it in there. I don't notice a smell or anything like that. They just stay in there. Um, and I wash every three days at the moment. But I do... I'm starting to use more nappies, so I might cut it down to two, just depending on how we go over the next couple of weeks and how often she is going. Like I was saying, so it really does depend on how many nappies you use to how often you are washing them, but I wouldn't go any longer than three days. Personally, some people might do longer, depending on how many nappies you have in general. I have got some nappies that I haven't used yet, they are second hand. I did do a strip wash, but I'm gonna pop them on with this load, even though they haven't been used, just so I have more nappies available if I do need them, because I am running low at the moment. When I have used them all up, I'm running down to my last like couple. So on wash day, we only have a few nappies available, and they are kind of my least favorite ones to use. So I am gonna put all the nappies I own in the wash today. Um, but like I said, I only wash them every three days and I wouldn't usually bulk the wash load up this much. Got a little guest with us because she's got a bit cranky. After I put all the nappies in the washing machine, I then turn the wet bags inside out so the inside's getting a good wash. Now a lot of people do their nappies differently. I don't separate my nappies when I put them in for the first rinse just because they're not clean and I don't want to be putting my hands in with loads of wee and poo but obviously I can't wash my hands some people like to do it before but I separate mine after the first rinse cycle it does depend how I'm feeling basically whether I put a little bit of powder in with the first rinse cycle sometimes I do sometimes I don't but I am gonna today just because it is such a bulky load and I am currently using Fairy Non-Bio. That's what I've been using since I first started cloth napping. And it has been working really well for us, our whole journey so far. I'm only a couple of weeks into it, but I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing at the moment. I don't put softener in. It can just reduce their life cycle, so I'm not doing that at the moment. And depending on the weather, it also depends on whether I hang them out to dry or tumble dry. The first cycle I do is just to get all like the yuckiness of the nappies so then I can separate them. I do a quick wash on 40 degrees and the most spins that I can do and that ends up being about a 45 minute wash. So once that's done I will then be back and show you guys how I separate them and then I'll put them in again. The key when washing cloth nappies is trying to get it as hot as possible. Now this really does depend on your nappies and your brand, but most nappies are between 40 to 60 degrees. I know there's a few that can go up to 90, but I don't own any of them. And the reason they say not to go too hot is because it can affect the elastic on the nappies. And obviously that is very key because that's what keeps all the mess inside. I am just heading out, but the washing machine has now done. So I'm gonna pop that on a proper wash. I'm gonna separate them. I will show you guys the nappies wash now. The first wash doesn't tend to get the stains out, but the second one does a really good job at getting all the stains out. This is a full load of washing, still stains and everything. I am also using cloth wipes, but yes, let me separate these and I'll show you. Well, I'll show you one now. So, like, this is a full nappy, and it's still got the inserts inside. So, what I'm going to do is take all the nappies apart and then put them on again on a long, hot wash with lots of detergent, and I'll be back. Like I said, the next wash is a really hot wash again, with the maximum spins, and this tends to be about an hour and a half. This kind of wash. 
Um, the time is still ticking, so I can't show you how long it's gonna be. But yeah, it takes usually about an hour and a half. It is many hours later now. And I don't know if you can hear the tumble dryer in the background, but I've now put all the nappies in the tumble dryer to dry. Once they've gone in, they might need a second dry just because it is such a big load, but usually they're fine with just one set in. I'm not actually sure how long it takes. I just leave it until it's done or check it in an hour or so. But once that's done, I will then probably take them into the living room because the baby's asleep upstairs at the moment. Obviously, if she is awake, then I'll be dealing with her. But I'm hoping to get the nappies folded tonight and I'll pop them in their drawers. But I will catch up with you once all these nappies are dry. This is my giant pile of cloth nappies. Now, some of you, some are brand new. There's a whole variety of cloth nappies in here different kinds but what i do now is i sit and put them all together so i've got them all for the week there are some new ones in here not brand new but ones i haven't used before in here like this what was this one top this top spots one um so because i wash all the nappies i have because if it happens like today she is currently in her last cloth nappy that we have. Obviously, I have disposable ones for backup if need be. But anyway, what I'm going to do is sit and stuff all these nappies. And yeah. don't mind me because I'm still in my pajamas but it is a couple of days later and I've already done another wash load so like obviously three days later from my last load um and I've just put the nappies away haven't I we just changed her bum as well so I thought I'd show you how I store all my nappies and where they are um I'm currently folding a bunch more but the majority of them and the regular ones I use are already stored away. She is so happy right now. Just kicking away. Are you watching me? <laughs> so while she lays there, we are currently using like a changing table. So don't mind that. That's because so many clothes in there. I got a fan go and then she needed feeding. So she's currently feeding, but I was still so show you the drawers on this left side is where i keep her most used nappies like the ones i grabbed during the day um as you can see there's not too many because obviously we're already a day through but i do have another drawer completely full of nappies so i'll show you them in a second but basically i just keep my favorite ones at the top and most of these are alva baby and Mama Koala are these last three back ones here, but the rest are Alba Baby. And then that one and that one are my favourite at the moment, but it is constantly changing. And next to it, I just keep the back creams just because that's where all the stuff goes together. I do also have a pile of cloth wipes, but I tend to keep them up on a changing mat next to the normal wipes. Um, but they're in the tumble dryer at the moment. So down the bottom here, it is the messy drawer because these are all her next size up clothing. So they're not organised and they're just shoved in here. As well as the nappies, they're just shoved in here as well because these aren't my most used ones. I do have some more to go in, but these are the ones I tend to use at night. Um, that's because I found they work better and I don't really care about showing them off during the day. But yeah so i've got a few random ones that one's little lamb that one is alva baby i don't know what this one is that white one there's tot spots and all of these are second hand but yeah that's where i keep them at the moment 
I would love to have a bigger collection of cloth nappies and if that is something that's possible in the future then I do have another drawer in my wardrobe that will be where all the nappies go but for now this is what's working for us that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed I know this isn't a video suited for everyone but I thought it'd be quite interesting for you guys to learn a bit, a bit about cloth nappies and what I do with them and just become more educated because that's what I had to do I just done so much research and things are constantly changing in my routine but this is what's working for us right now so thank you for watching and keep an eye out for more videos because I'm posting at the moment once or twice a week so there will be another one up shortly and if you have any video suggestions leave them down below in the comments thank you for watching again please like subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys soon bye